G'day, welcome to the Jade Birch Man's channel. If you're interested in fish or aquaculture, there's going to be something here for you. Over a quarter of a century ago, I started the fish hatchery in southeast Queensland. That hatchery is now developed into a very large complex. We produce Australian native aquarium fish and also fish for fish farms to grow out for the table. One of those fish is the Jade Birch. And that's why they call me the Jade Birch Man. My channel is all about fish, aquaculture, and collecting the fish from the wild. Not all of our trips from the wild are for collecting broodstock though. Sometimes it's just about having fun and going fishing. The videos that you can expect to see here will cover all kinds of aquaculture but most particularly freshwater fin fish aquaculture. I'm constantly adding new videos, so if there's something that you're interested in and you don't see it here and you think I can help, send me an email and perhaps I'll be able to put something together and add it to the channel. So far in this trail you've been seeing some of the fish we produce. There's a silver birch, this is the jade birch, which has taken the aquaculture industry by storm all around the world. They're even grown in people's backyards, backyard aquaponics. Here you see us releasing some brood fish that were collected from the wild in the Baku River in July 2014. Here we're harvesting Australian native rainbows. Did you know that most creeks and rivers in Australia had pretty little aquarium fish called rainbows? These fellas, they look like brine shrimp or sea monkeys. They're actually a freshwater version of sea monkeys. There's plenty of film of us going out in the bush to collect the wild fish. Sometimes with rod and reel and sometimes with gill nets. Obviously to use gill nets you need a permit. Be aware that without a permit, the penalties are very severe. Here you see the Baku River, which is the home of Jade Perch. Jade Perch, or Scortum Baku as the scientific name calls them, are only found in this region of central Queensland. These rivers drain into the central drainage basin known as the Lake Eyre Basin. As you can see, we've got pictures from all angles. We use every kind of photographic tool at our disposal. I'm sure you'll enjoy what you see. And as I said before, if there's something that you'd like to see that isn't here, send me an email. I'm sure I can add it to the channel.